back to glory from Mika. thank you for stopping by in this video i want to show you how i make msala soup the anambra way this used to be my favorite soup growing up when my mother makes it she makes it especially when we have very important visitors like people like my husband still loves my mother's cooking till now so i want to show you step by step how we make the msala soup the anambra way get cooking so here is my fried chicken. Usually we use live chicken when we want to make this soup. Then we have catfish. We are from the Omombala area of Anambra. So we prepare the soup with fresh fish. You can see just being killed. Then I have otaze, yam for thickening, crayfish. Here I have mboroziza, oda and obey. I'll leave a list of all these ingredients in the comments below. So on the peppers, I have yellow, green, and red peppers for different flavors. So this is the meat. I add in two cubes. That was two cubes of beef seasoning. Then I add in salt. So with my hand, I'll have to turn it so that it will mix properly. This is a very simple soup to prepare, yet very delicious. So now I've seasoned the meat. I'm going to cover it to cook, to steam. If you observe, I didn't add onions. We don't add onions to masala soup. Onions will make your thickener watery. This is a catfish. If you don't wash this catfish properly, it will be slimy. So to prevent that, I pour in salt. Then I pour in warm water to cover it. Warm enough, but not hot. To make it hot, your fish will be almost cooked. Having poured the warm water, I will leave this for five minutes before I get back to it. So this is five minutes later. You can see the slimy thing is going off. You can see it's all over, floating in the water. So you have to wash the fish very well to remove all the slimy things. That way you enjoy your catfish very well. The chicken has steamed now. You can see it's steaming so nicely. Then I'll go ahead and add in water. So I stir it in and I add in the shocked yam. I want to cook it the same time with the chicken. I'll cover it and check it back when the yam is soft and moist. I'm washing the fish now, removing all the slimy things. You can see them floating. So with your hand, you wash it out so that you don't have to be eating on those slimy things. Rinse it thoroughly with clean water. In the mortar, I add crayfish. Here comes in my pepper. Don't mind the much pepper, the otazi leaf neutralizes some of it. Adding obey, very important. Oda and oziza seeds. So I'll go ahead and start pounding. You can actually blend this with your food processor, but I want to recreate the memories of my mother. That's why I'm using this mortar and pistol. You have to pound this so when the odor seeds is completely, you can see it again, the odor and the oziza seeds. I don't want to be showing on them. This is ready. I'll put it out to another plate so that I can use this mortar to pound the yam. Let's check on the yam. It's soft enough now, so I'll take it out and pound it. So, I have to pound this yam. So, this yam is good now. When you touch it and you can't feel any lump, that means it's ready. So, I'll take it off. So, this is our chicken. We'll reintroduce the yam, the pounded yam. Remember that this is hard chicken. If you use soft chicken, it will have been very soft by now. So, 
with your spoon you break the yam into pieces so that when it boils it will form thickener for you so also now I add in what I also pounded I turn it all in now cover it to cook now I'm cutting my as leaves if you've been following my channel you observe I wash my leaves at home and cut it so that I don't lose the health benefits. So wash after cutting. Oh, this is steaming so beautifully well. If you observe, the yam had formed a paste that thickened the soup. So at this point, we'll go ahead and taste for the seasoning and salt. I'll need to add in additional seasoning and salt because if you remember I'll still add the fish that will absorb more seasoning add in a little salt now turn it in do you know that this insala soup is also called white soup next I add the potato leaves these leaves are a little bit bitter but not what you cannot bear it adds a sweet bitter taste mixed with the yam now also i'll be adding the catfish i want to add it last so that i wouldn't have a lot of turning to do i don't want the catfish scattered the, the soup already has the right seasoning i've added in the leaves so this catfish is the last i'm adding push the fish in to absorb the ingredients I'll cover the pot and allow it to cook for the next 10 minutes so that the fish will cook properly so this is 10 minutes later you can see our soup looking so nice so I don't want to break the fish gently I run the spoon round the pot to check if it's burning Please subscribe to my channel to support the work that I'm doing to see more videos from me. You can also like and share this video. This video might be of help to someone. Please like. So at this point, I'll cover it to steam more. I want this fish to cook properly. You can see it's not breaking. It's still as whole as it is. If you serve it to your visitor, it will look more appealing. So this fish has been cooking for 20 minutes now. I'll give it a stir, not still breaking the fish. At this point, I'm going to test, do the final testing. You know, we added the seasonings before we added the fish. So now the seasoning and the ingredients has infused into the fish. Let's taste for the last time before taking it out from the heat. Can as well taste yours. Mine came out perfect. So this masala white soup is declared ready right now. Masala soup is ready. Come and join me. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. Thank you very much for watching, and see you in my next video.